Hi guys, Sandy from The Paddle School here. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about a common topic that we get asked, and that is left-handers. So we're gonna start by talking about what you should be doing if you are a left-hander, how you can maximize being a lefty and using that in your game. We're then gonna talk about what you should be doing if you're partnering a lefty, so you're a right-hander and your partner is left-handed. And then also we're gonna talk about what you should be doing if you're playing against a left-hander and how your game might have to adapt. Quick disclaimer, if you see me demonstrating with my left hand, it's because I'm mirroring the screen. If I was actually demonstrating with my left hand, it would be a complete disaster. So before I forget, please click subscribe and we'll get straight into the video of what you should be trying to do if you're a lefty. If you're learning the game and you're left-handed, you should know that you should always play on the right-hand side of the court. From the right-hand side and your partner, who is right-handed playing on the left, it means that your forehand and your smashes are both down the middle of the court where most of the lobs come from your opponents. So it gives you a lot more options. The other thing you should think of if you're a beginner is when you're serving or if you're hitting your bandeja and smashes to try and make the ball bounce so that your opponents have to use the glass because it will be unnatural for them to play against the left-hander so even if you haven't perfected the techniques you want to be trying to hit the ball so that it bounces and rebounds off one of the glasses. As you're training to improve your game, you should know that if you hit a ball with spin, it's going to be unnatural for your opponents to return off that. Even if you hit a slice, you're not going to hit the ball perfectly, kind of that six o'clock to 12 o'clock, 90 degrees, so that a slice is going to bounce kind of perpendicular to the back glass. There's always going to be a slight angle on it, which means there's going to be a slight angle when it rebounds off the back glass. But where lefties are really effective are with side spin. So if you can hit side spin on your vibra come around the outside of the ball it has the same characteristics as a right hander from the left court where the ball sticks to that side glass and this can be very difficult for a player in that corner because they're just not used to playing against lefties and when they get stuck against that side glass it's going to be in a position that they don't usually play from the main reason that lefties are so effective is because there's low numbers of lefties compared to right-handers. Now, if it was the other way around and there were loads of left-handers and not very many right-handers, then maybe the right-handers would be the ones that are difficult to play. But in the current situation, as a left-hander, you should embrace the fact that you have a different contact on that ball. And by that, I mean, you should actually be learning the different types of spin, how to make it tricky for your opponents, because the person you're playing in that right corner will always play against right-handers more than they will left-handers, so it will be a little bit of a shock to their system. So if you are a lefty, really embrace that side spin and the bandejas and the contact and the brush that you get on the ball as a left-hander. Now, if you are a lefty, comment down below and let me know what you think are your most effective shots because I'm sure that, you know, the vibra and the smashes are probably up there. If you're a right-hander playing with a lefty, even if they don't have the world's most amazing vibra and they can just hit a bit of side spin on that ball, you should let them take some of the balls down the middle. I'm not saying all of them, but they should take some of those balls because with side spin, it will keep that ball against that side glass and that will allow you to come forward and be more aggressive, probably because your opponent is gonna struggle with that shot. But the other reason that you can come forward and be more aggressive is because if they're covering you down the middle and that lob goes over your head, it's gonna be a smash for a left-hander. Whereas if that person was right-handed, it would be a high backhand volley. So you've kind of got to be a little bit more careful there. But here, what that means is on that left-hand side, if they hit into that corner, you can be more aggressive as a partner. So if we look at how you should be playing against a left-hander, you want to consider that the spins and the shots that the left hand will hit from the right hand side of the court are exactly the same, but mirrored for a right-hander on the left side of the court. So that means that if they're hitting their vibra down into this corner and it's got side spin on, whether it hits this glass first or this glass first, it's most likely gonna end up in this channel because the side spin will hit, hit the back glass and then bounce in this direction. Or if it hits the back glass first, it's gonna bounce and then come this way. So if you are defending that in this corner and they hit a vibra with side spin, you just want to make sure that you're going to be able to dig that ball up from this corner. The other area where players struggle is with the serve because 
they end up hitting a little bit of side spin on that serve and to the right hand side of the court that bounces away from the glass yeah, because it's going in this rotation and it bounces away. But if it's a left-hander serving to the left side, then it's going to stay closer to the glass if they're using a little bit of side spin on their serve. The other area to think about is the spaces on the courts and the shots they're going to hit. So for example, previously, a ball down this side would be to the backhand of the right court player, whereas now the middle zone will be both forehands and both forehands volleys or smashes from the front of the court. So that's something that you've got to consider. The other thing is if you're hitting your bandeja from the right side cross court into this side, they're now defending with the backhand after the fence and after the glass, which could be an advantage to you. So you might decide to hit less bandejas down the center and more into this angle there to force them to play on the backhand. Personally, I don't get to train with lefties as much as I would like. So when I do play them in matches, it takes me a bit of time to adapt. And that's exactly what I do at the beginning of the match is I play a lot of balls, a lot of lobs, a lot of shots to their volley because I want to get used to defending in that corner and kind of refreshing my memory on how to deal with those slices into the corner. And that's normally quite a good way to deal with it. If you are a lefty or if you've played against lefties, let me know in the comments down below what you find difficult with their spins and how you adapt to those shots. If you find that you get stuck in the wrong position, which happens actually even more against lefties because you're trying to work out their spin and you often find yourself in the wrong place, on this side, I'm gonna put the basic court position video as well as moving with a pair. So you can look at those two tactical videos and hopefully that should help you get yourself into the right positions.